Virgo. <laughs> so you are dealing with a situation where you had in the past. Okay, what I feel is you had a couple of. Yeah, so, okay, because I have different messages for you. You felt before that you had different situation where you had to be reborn from the ashes. Different times in your different times in your lifetime. Okay. Lately, I feel like for some of you, you had a breakup or a divorce or something and you were like getting out of this situation. Something that has been very stable in the past but didn't work out, so you had to really let go of the old and start new. Whatever situation you have mastered in the past did serve you, and whatever relationship you had in the past did serve you in order for you to become the person you are today. So if you had a breakup or a divorce, this has helped you in acquiring the wisdom and the maturity you had today okay there is a new offer of love that is challenging you you know that this offer of love okay it could be a, with a soulmate connection okay it could be as well with an, a capricorn i want to clarify a few things it feels like you are not For some of you, you're actually getting rid of this offer of love or getting rid of this um, offer or, or you are cutting something, ending something that has been toxic for you or that you know is toxic for you or you are not going to accept this anymore into your life. It feels like it was in your life and now wanting to come back into your life and you're saying no enough. So this, you know, could be... You have different scenarios for you, so please just um, try to resonate with whatever is uh, for you here. Uh, you, it, it feels like you have taken the decision to take your life by the horns, okay, and really leave any situation or any relationship that has been toxic for you. Even if you have lost a lot of things during this relationship, even if you have lost time energy money whatever it is but you are just laying your your swords down and you with the very like we say yeah like lifting your head up and and just going with so much pride so much pride because you have acquired some amazing lessons from this relationship so definitely an offer that is coming to you and you are not accepting it. You are really standing into your power right now and being very stable and not really letting anything outside of you shake your grounds anymore. You are very analytical and very you 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 have been at service and you are still at service it's your environment but now you have decided to be at service for yourself instead of being at service for others you are now now deciding to serve yourself and you don't want to let you don't want this situation or this ending to to be in a to be done or to be finished in a very bad way even if you are really really hurting inside you're deciding to just drop down your swords okay and and just take on whatever you need to take on just to finish it with and that's it and now and and you know your healing work will start afterwards i just want to pick some cards for you definitely a transformation again a feeling of manipulation i don't understand like Many other signs have the same thing as well. There is a feeling of man being manipulated. So you're definitely, you you felt like, as I said, you have wasted a lot of time, energy, perhaps resources. You feel like you've been manipulated in many, many ways. 
yeah, definitely sad about what happened. But and then yeah, it, it really keeps you uh, trapped in your thoughts. But you know that there is something better coming your way. As soon as you will let go of this, there is something better coming your way because it feels like you're, you've been waiting for something that still did not come yet or an offer that still did not come. But this offer will come as soon as you end and you let go of the old. I strongly feel an emotional offer, a cup of love definitely coming your way. But it will only happen once you clear those energies. Very similar to Leo as well. Maybe you do have Leo in your chart. But Virgo, you are very, you're very slow in taking decisions and very practical as well. Um, not slow in taking decisions, not in a bad way, but you really, really try to, to, to think before moving into the right direction and i feel like it is now time for you to move forward because you know exactly what you need to do you've been very patient and now you have everything laid down and all the resources all the answers you need to have in order to for you to make the best decision okay i want you to bring on the energy of the person you are inquiring about and we're going to do a potential love spread between you and this person. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have reconciliation. We're going to see how this will apply in the reading but it says somebody from the past is returning into your life <clears throat> okay Show me what it is to clarify here. Okay. okay. Virgo, bottom of the deck, the high priestess, your intuition. You have to bring your intuition right here, right now. It is really guiding you. Could be also you could be also dealing with a cancer. So as I said before, a broken commitment. How you feel about them? You felt like your life was ascending to a higher commitment, but then there is something that has happened and you're crying over something that didn't work in your favor. Maybe you're crying over this commitment that that over this commitment that has not been working the way you wanted before what they feel worth waiting for divine timing at work is in your love life but they're definitely leaving this situation they're leaving this situation i could ask why why is virgo's partner leaving this situation why what is it Yeah, they are broken hearted. See, something has happened. They, it broke their heart and there is an ending. So for both of you, I feel like they, they, there is an ending from both sides. Maybe something, that, maybe something has happened between you two, a misunderstanding or something that wasn't serving you, serving the both of you. Here as a potential, it says retreat. You need some time for yourself and they need some time for themselves in order to really reconnect with your inner self, you with yourself and them with themselves. Okay, the advice here is for you to recapture romance and, al and allow your inner youthful spirit to fun to shine. You have to let go of this energy of burden you have 
and start new, you know, be like a fool, be carefree, start new without any anything that is uh, trapping your thought, really just a flow. You need to have a flow of energy, a flow of young spirit in order for you to start new. The outcome here, I feel like you had a lot of chemistry and passion with this person. But I feel like when you're going to be really releasing and letting go of the, those old energies, you're going to be extending your energy to others and you're going to be very playful and carefree, as I said here with the fool, with the fool card. Okay. You're going to be playful and flirty and, you know, really happy, bubbly. And this will bring you extreme happiness in the future. Unfortunately, I do not see any outcome with this person. Definitely an ending. And there is a tower card at the bottom of the deck. So you're not good for them and they're not good for you. I can't tell you why the energies are very uh, different from one person to another but this is just an overall uh, a general reading if you wish to have a, a more personalized reading please contact me and I'll be able to help with your um, with tuning in into your energies but I have like different messages and scattered messages here and there trying to put them all together for you <laughs> okay I'm gonna ask the Osho cards here. I'm going to ask for three cards. So I can have a better guidance to offer you. Please show me what Leo needs to know. Oh, sorry, Virgo. Why Leo? Show me for Virgo. Three cards for Virgo. Okay. Time to stop fighting. Exactly. Time to stop fighting. There is... Okay. You are in a period of stress right now because it feels like you have a big burden and the world on your shoulders. But you have to... Here... See, slow down and stop fighting and just allow the guidance, the angel guidance and the universe guidance to just take on and show you where is the light for you. Okay, it is important now to just really surrender to the universe and release the old energies without having holding a grudge. Okay. I want to have some clarifiers. Yeah. One more. Okay. As I said earlier, you are fighting. You are you did not accept being left out in the cold. But yet still without really accepting it you're very proud and taking on your swords and moving forward and it says here even if it brings you a level a high level of stress you are really led into acceptance accepting the situation the way it is and you have to slow down to stop fighting with yourself and you know with your thoughts and just go inwards because here you have to be like a queen of cups over here and give this energy to yourself in order for you to heal you have to keep on loving yourself and nurturing yourself because you are going to be guided you're going to be divinely guided and you are going to take on action in this guidance so you have to see around you you will be seeing signs around you and just be open open to receive Virgo, you're guided. You're very, very well gui guided. And although you have really like a good, 
presence and stability and you know exactly what to do you are uh, sometimes not not knowing what is what it is to do for your best interest you can know what it is to do for the best interest for others but sometimes uh, we all need some guidance to really help us take on the best decisions for our lives i am going now to ask the healing angels oracle cards to show us what it is you need to heal virgo in order for you to move forward yeah okay. And another. okay so here at the bottom of the deck you have divine timing so divine timing is working on your favor right now and you need to work on forgiving and balancing yourself so you have to release and surrender the energies and be forgiving and learning from what it is from ha what has happened to you forgiving learning have compassion for the situation or the person you were dealing with and this will help you to have an inner balance within yourself in order for you to move forward with your future so this is really important you have to take on the action in doing so if you need to meditate slow down meditate do some energy healings or you know really go inwards and listen to yourself what it is you need to do in order to 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 move forward i mean each person is very different but definitely meditation will really really guide you and help you into doing so now i want you to pause this video and ask a question bring on this energy and ask a question for yourself and i'm going to be asking the angel oracle answers cards to give me the best guidance for your question okay once you're ready just play back the video and we're gonna have an answer for you if you're meant to know <laughs> but sometimes it's not meant to know okay so whatever it is you have asked for i want you to check here the bottom of the deck is big happy changes okay so please the second card is please remain positive <laughs> as i said you're guided please just slow down listen listen to your angels and to your intuition you're very well guided remain positive and there are big happy changes happening for you 